now that we've downloaded our starter underscores.me WordPress theme, let's open up the package and see what's inside. As you remember from the last video, I named mine Bootstrap WP. So here's the zip file. Let's drag this over to our favorite text editor. Mine happens to be Sublime Text 2. Over in the left hand column over here, you see all the files that are included. So as we're building our theme, we'll dig more into every one of these files, Let's create custom templates based off some of these files, create new functions, etc, etc. One of the most, I would say, important pieces of this theme is the style.css. Here's, of course, where the styles are for the themes, but up here at the top, this is what users see when they download your theme and install it into WordPress. So here you can change your name, you know, the theme URL, and everything about your theme. It also includes this screenshot.png, and that's the image that your users will see when they activate the theme in the WordPress dashboard. So other notable template files are, this is the 404, so when someone goes on your site and you know there's no page for that particular search or URL that they went to it'll display this 404 page just glancing over it you can see displays a message in the search form we'll dig more into you know what all these PHP functions and what these WordPress calls are doing so moving down the list you have the archives the comments, the different loops for what's supposed to be displayed for a page, a single post, a search, the content, the footer of the site. We'll edit this to you know include widget areas, different options from our theme options panel so people can edit the footer without having to dig into this code. The function files is also pretty important. We're going to be adding a lot of different functions to this theme to make it act and work in different ways. The header, normally where the logo is, and navigation. We'll be adding custom navigation like the bootstrap navigation, some theme options to let the user upload a custom logo, other things default page template. We'll be duplicating this page, making several other pages for the portfolios, contact page, number of other pages. You can see that it's getting the template part of the content page. So that means it's including this code here. But we'll get more into that at a later time. Other notable one is the sidebar. So this is saying if a sidebar is being used in the appearance widget area, name sidebar one, display this content here. So we'll be adding different sidebars for different pages and also using this code on other things like I mentioned earlier in the footer. So these other folders and directories are where we're going to store our JS code. Here we'll have other functions that we call in the INC directory. The underscores me ships out of box with some of these template tags. And we'll go through some of these and customize them in later tutorials. The language folder, this is so you can add different languages to your theme so it comes packaged ready to be translated and it also ships with different style sheets for different layouts so we'll go over some of the ways that we can make our portfolio and other pages have three columns four columns two columns 
So that's a pretty brief and quick overview of what's shipped with the underscores.me starter template and theme. We'll um, start digging in more and adding on to this theme to start making our bootstrap premium WordPress theme.